There were three births in 1822. Greenwood. His house is next to Dr. Cobbles. Coldstone. South of Jug's house. Curtis. In the fishery near the harbour. There were three. The photograph just arrived. Just arrived in charming fishing port of Ilsmouth. Warm welcome from Dr. Cobble, with whom I'm lodging, and A. Arlington, the mayor. The photographic plates haven't arrived with the rest of my luggage. Summary of Molliskin's book. I met a 12-year-old boy willing to guide me through the forest. What a sight. The stars appeared to be a rifle shot away. He held the torches while I drew new constellations. I named them Octopus, Stalker. Who was that boy? There must be a register of births for that period. Where can I find the town records? There were three births in 1822. Greenwood. His house is next to Dr. Cobbles. Coldstone. South of Jug's house. Curtis in the fishery near the harbour. My good man, Miss the Peacock. Do forgive me, Miss Peacock. I'm not from these parts. The name's Parker. Good day, young man. Don't waste your breath. This poor sinner is deaf, dumb, and blind. A terrible accident at the time of his birth robbed him of the sights and sounds of this world. Excuse us, Mr. Greenwood is hungry and... Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Miss Picard. How do you do, sir? No need to serve me, son. Name's Donahue. Jed Donahue. You that Parker fellow? Y 
Yes, but how? <laughs> Old Jed knows a thing or two. It was the doctor who told me that a young scientist was coming to visit. Now don't you fret now. I can keep a secret if I have to. I'm trying to find photosensitive plates, Jed. You got me there, son. I don't know where you could look. Forgive me for bothering you, miss. You're not bothering me, Mr. Parker. Oh, there's no need to look so surprised. Ellsmouth is such a small town, and news travels fast. I'm Gloria Tilton. How do you do, Miss Tilton? Miss Tilton, I am a desperate man. I rarely must find some photosensitive plates. You take photographs? Why, that's wonderful. I'll show you to Myers. He's bound to have what you need. He sells everything. Oh, you won't tell my Aunt Peacott about this, will you? She thinks photography's for Liberty gibbets. Really? Well, I'd be very glad of your most agreeable company. Please, Mr. Parker, call me Gloria. You're there? I have to go. My aunt's waiting for me. be delivered tonight. Oh, I spoke to Miss Gilchrist. She got your package. Can I help you, sir? some photosensitive plates, please. Well, just hold on a few seconds while I check to see if I have any. 
You're a lucky man. Well, they do say if anybody sells it, Meyer does. You got two boxes left. There's one. Ten dollars for three plates. I'll take them. My advice to you is to try them first. Well, I've had them for quite a while, so they aren't exactly brand new. Oh, really? That's a fact. Daytime, night. Outside? Inside? What is it you're wanting to photograph? Oh, a few views of this lovely area. Well, you be careful. The emotion's kind of old. Tell you what, you take a few shots of whatever you want to photograph, and see what sort of results you get. If those plates aren't perfect, I'll give you your money back. And if they're okay, well, you can go back and buy some more. I'll take your advice. are covered in spider webs. This place is filthy. Very odd indeed. Very odd indeed. Mr. Hamilton? Curtis Hamilton? 76 years ago, a British scientist, Lord Boleskine. Don't mention that name to me. Bad luck and trouble. I led him around for three nights. I carried the torch, the rifle, and I saw the... the thing. What thing? I wish I didn't remember. He'd drawn a map. I took him to the cross. I don't mind telling you, I was scared. Later on, I refused to go with my father to pray to the stones. So my father threw me out. My brother Wilbur cursed me. And now I live in squalid conditions.
Where did you take Boleskin? Get away from this region, mister. The comet's coming back. It'll be here in three nights, and that thing's coming too. Wilbur said so, so just get away from Hillsmith while you've got time. Why? If you saw what I saw, it was on the third night in the forest near the Calvary. The English guy was drawing. Then the thing appeared. I'd pay any price to forget what I saw. Now get lost. Shoo! Nobody home. The nameplate's in poor condition. Hamilton. It's a shame that it's gone to rack and ruin. The house had a touch of class. Find somewhere else to mess up. Say, Mr. Parker, 
Mr. Arlington, the mayor, told me about you. Welcome to Ilsmouth. I'm Sergeant Baggs from the local police. Glad to meet you. I'm looking for a cross. Maybe you should try the cemetery. We call it the dead center of town. <laughs> you get it? I'm looking for a calvary in the forest. I can't help you there. And I don't advise you to wander in the forest by yourself. It's easy to get lost in that forest. I wouldn't even go there with a map. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, duty calls. I've got to run those layabouts out of town towards the clearing in the woods. What have they done? They're gypsies, Mr. Parker. Sneakiest chicken thieves you ever saw. I'm not going to wait for them to strip the town bare, no sir. They're out of here. Surely they have some rights. I decide who has rights around here, Mr. Parker, and no stranger is going to tell me how to do my job. You stick to your science. I won't trouble you again. But come now. Mr. Parker, just read my lips. Stay out of my way. Thank you, sir. Hey, you, the fortune teller. Just shut up, okay? Now, you bunch of grease balls, I want you out of my town, and I mean now. Mr. Parker, adieu. This one's name, Coldstone William. That's funny, no answer. And yet I did see somebody going in.
impossible to go any further. Too many brambles. There's a message engraved in the gun. Dash it all. It's too small to read. If only I had a magnifying glass. It's badly written. Ah. Searcher. E. S. T. The rest has been rubbed away. Searcher. Suzanne Searcher, probably. Strange. Those names are not mentioned in Boliskin's notebooks. Nothing. butterflies really are magnificent. These butterflies really are magnificent. Am I bothering you? Not at all. Indeed, to be frank, I can't get our last conversation off my mind. Have you found something? Not yet. But I hope to shed light on a few interesting facts. We'll discuss them later on. Remember, Gloria, always keep your head up high. Yes, and?
There must be a clue in this drawing, but what is it? Let's use the surgical spirit on the cotton. I was sure of it. The clue is not in the picture, but beneath it. North, east, beast, four by two, stars. That's where the cross... I have to pinpoint the position of the cross on my map. on the rifle. North East Beast. A strange message written by Boliskin. E S T. The rest has been rubbed out. This must be the rest of the message on the rifle. North East Beast. Four by two stars. My information points to a cal I have found Boliskin's guide. He... There were three...